So after that um, unexpected scare, let's talk about Cetacosaurus. Um, this was a very weird dinosaur to research. Uh, and one thing's for sure, I hate drawing it. Um, the skull of this one... Not as long as the Majungasaurus uh, skull. Like, the Majungasaurus skull took me almost an hour. Um, well, uh, I, sh I should have clarified. The drawing of the Majungasaurus skull um, uh, took almost an hour. Um, the Like, my interpretation of it, not the actual skull. The skull took, like, 30 minutes. Um, and this skull took around the same time. Uh, a little shorter, but... Yeah, I <laughs> I hate drawing Cetacosaurus now. So Cetacosaurus is a weird dinosaur. Um, it is a I want to say it's a basal ceratopsid. I know it's a ceratopsid. Um, I, I don't know if it's basal. Um, yeah, it's uh, I think it's early, early Cretaceous. I think I don't know. Um, I'll put a correction up on the screen if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, I spelled it. I, I spelled the name. I, I won't typically do that, but I spelled the name of Cetacosaurus because it's a very. For the longest time, I had no idea how to pronounce that. Like a I, I couldn't learn. And then I learned that the P was silent, and it's just Cetacosaurus. It's actually quite simple. So. The reason why I drew it front view is because of these cheekbones. I don't know what those are for. Joy. Um, and just like, in general, this is a very weird, like, dinosaur. Um, and like, the reason I can say this stuff, like, I can, I can say with confidence that it is a very weird dinosaur, because we know what it would most likely look like. I don't think we yet have color pigmentations yet, but yeah, we, um, yeah, we now know what well, we've known for quite a bit, what Cetacosaurus looks like, and therefore any depiction of it, if it is, if it sucks, they have no excuse because we know what it looks like. Um, like, uh, one of the pop culture depictions I remember seeing it in is Transformers 4, Age of Extinction. Uh, it's in the very beginning. Um... I believe, yeah, um, but yeah, in, so Cetacosaurus was in Age of Extinction, Transformers 4, um, and it was surprisingly decently well represented. Um, it wasn't a Piscivore, which is fish eater. So I don't know why in the movie they had it fighting, like, fighting over another creature with fish. I don't exactly know why that happened. Um, because this was an herbivore. Um, the teeth, like, give it away. And I'm very bad at drawing teeth, so I just did scribbles, um, for the drawing. And thank heavens, it's covered in cheeks in the actual animal. Um, so yeah. One thing that you might uh, point out to me is that where are its horns? Well, it hasn't developed those yet. Um, Cetacosaurus, I believe, as I said, early Cretaceous, maybe. Um, I believe uh, one of its later descendants, according to the current understanding of Ceratopsids, is Centrosaurus? Chasmosaurus? One of those two. Um, I'll put a name up on the screen. Centrosaurus or Chasmosaurus? I, I, I believe I'm leaning more towards Centrosaurus. Um, yeah, and... It's, it's just a very odd dinosaur. That's basically just going to be the majority of this video. Me saying it's a very weird dinosaur. I can actually, like, draw the full body in the corner uh, to depict what it actually is. I, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, this 
uh, is uh, Sitakasaurus body depiction. Um, I would have drawn a design, but eh, yeah, yeah. It's just a, it's just a t small diagram. The feet are too small, but what, what, whatever. Hands are also uh, wrong, kind of. Um, and the arms are too beefy. But anyways, um, yeah, it's it's a little odd. Um, the size of these little guys is, I want to say, like the size of a Labrador, I think. A little smaller, maybe? Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Uh, my friend is Lab, so I'm trying to remember, like, the size. Um, yeah, yeah. About Labrador size, uh, for Tachosaurus. Um, do you want me to bleep out your name, or do you not care? I don't really care. Okay. I'm very sorry. Yeah, this is Satakasaurus. Oh, that looks The quills are accurate. Yep. I can actually say that. It looks really weird, but I mean... I know, right? There you go. Yeah. Bye-bye. See ya. So as I said before, this is Satakasaurus. Um, it's very weird. <laughs> um, these quills at the base of the tail um, are accurate. Um, they're really weird, just, oh my gosh, it's so weird. And the hands, if you actually look at the hands, you can actually see, uh, the early form of ceratopsid hands. Um, cer ceratopsid, uh, forearms are very weird. Um, cause they walk on their first three digits. Well, yeah, they walk on their first three digits. And then their other two are reduced, so they walk... Like this, and then the other two are just dangling there. The bones are there, but n yeah, nothing. And that's what I tried to depict here, but I'm very bad at drawing that. Um, and yeah, ceratopsids also are like the neutral hand position. Uh, no pronation or supination for these guys. Um, and so how they countered that was a sprawled posture in the front legs. Uh, back legs are still the same, uh, but the for, but the front legs or arms are uh, splayed out. Um, but yeah. So size estimate wise, uh, these guys were about the size of a Labrador, I want to say. Um... Yeah, they, we're about the size of a Labrador, and like a really big, this is a really big Cetacosaurus. Like, life size, I'm not even sure we found skulls this size. Uh, we might have, I don't know. Um, but yeah, those guys, it's... So yeah, Cetacosaurus is a very weird dinosaur, uh, in conclusion. I don't have really much to say about this thing. Um, yeah, it was, it was a joy to learn its actual name. Uh, <laughs> I was just, for the longest time, I was just like, uh, uh, yeah, I have slight dyslexia, so. Um, but yeah, knowing its actual name now, it's joyous to me. Um... And yeah, I have a couple other dinosaurs to get through on my list. I believe the next dinosaur I will cover, a uh, little sneak peek, well, not really sneak peek, but this is the first you're hearing about it. The next dinosaur, I think, is either Pachycephalosaurus or Brontosaurus. Um, I might just do Brontosaurus next because it's... Uh, Something really interesting happened to it within the last, like, five years. Uh, so yeah, like, probably maybe next month you'll probably see that video. Um, or if I'm really on top of it, then... Yeah. Uh, if you want to suggest dinosaurs to me, uh, you can do so in the comments of this video. Um... And if you want to know something specific about a specific dinosaur, I'm planning on doing YouTube shorts 
on just like little specific things like specific adaptations like for instance what the heck were these cheekbones about um, I'm actually gonna answer that question really fast so the cheekbones I have no idea I think they're like an early predecessor to like you look you'll see in all ceratops it's like the cheekbone horns um, you'll see that in all ceratops it's um, so I think that that's what these are and then they're just greatly reduced and then they like eventually off of this back um thing right here eventually grows and evolves into a frill and then they so yeah as i was saying like the cheekbones early predecessor to later ceratopsid cheekbones you'll see it in all of them as i stated um and then the back of this thing will probably evolve into the frill and then it will grow not grow, but adapt to have horns. Um, and I actually just reviewed the footage. Uh, I'm just a little bit ago. You guys can't see the head, can you? Yeah, I'll fix that. I'll put it as the thumbnail. Don't worry. Um, and yeah, Cetacosaurus. That's Let's Talk Cetacosaurus. Um, if you want to suggest dinosaurs, uh, leave them in the comments. If you want me to invite some of my friends so we can like talk um, actual, well, so I can have like actual human like communication. <laughs> um, I'm talking to inanimate objects, help me. Sorry, I'm getting caught off guard. If you want me to invite some friends over so I can like talk dinosaurs around them. Um, just again do so in the comments like hey i want to see some of your friends hey what do you want to recover this dinosaur um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video see you later <laughs>